In this video, we are going to learn how you can create new digital ocean droplets from MySQL database. So let's take an example that you are using MySQL for your database management system and you are using digital ocean as your cloud hosting platform. Now you want that whenever the data is added to your MySQL database table, automatically using the details, a new droplet should get created into your digital ocean account. But how you are going to do this? So to integrate MySQL with DigitalOcean, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So how you can integrate and you can set up this automation, for that you need to come to my screen. So welcome to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes and you are going to get free task. If you are already a user of Pabli Connect, simply click on sign in. In the all app section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as create new digital ocean droplets from MySQL database. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want to create dig digital ocean droplets from MySQL database. So first we need to create an integration between MySQL database and Pabli Connect. So just open this trigger window and here choose the application name as MySQL. Select the trigger event as new row in a table. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Now here it is asking for the database username, database password. So you have to enter your login details over here. Now it is asking for the host, database name and the port. So for the host, you can read the instructions, enter your MySQL host name, example xyz.example.com and ensure it is accessible from this IP address. Note, local host and this particular host are not valid. So I'll just take you to my SQL account, MySQL account and here you can see that my host uh, server is local host over here. So you have to enter your actual host over here, okay. Now the database name can be accessed from here. You can simply copy the database name and you can just paste it over here and you can find the port also from the database name. So when you enter all these details, simply click on save and the connection will get created. As I have already created a connection, I'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and I'll click on save. And now my SQL account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to select the table name. So here you can see that I have created two tables, okay, I'll just show you the tables, yes, digital ocean and payment status. So I want to access this digital ocean table, so I'll be selecting the same table name over here, that is digital ocean, and here we have to select the unique column, select unique primary key column so we can fetch the newly updated records properly, usually you need to select the unique ID column over here, so we have selected the same, okay. Now, when we click on save and send test request, it is going to capture the latest response, okay. For that, we need to enter the details in our MySQL database over here, okay. Now, you might be receiving the data in your MySQL database from various sources. For that, I have created a Google form over here. So, whenever I fill this form, the details will be captured here in my MySQL database. So, I'm just going to fill in the details. Let's give the droplet name as Pabli test. Okay, I'm just giving a random name to the droplet and here I'm selecting the IPv6 as true. So it is the internet protocol version 6, that is the latest version that we are selecting and now let's click on submit. The response has been submitted, okay so the form has been filled. Now let's check our MySQL database table. I'm just going to refresh it. Okay, and here we can see that the detail is captured over here. We can find the droplet name as Pabli test and here we can find IPv version 6 as true. Okay, now we want this data in Pabli Connect. So now we are going to click on save and send test request. So here we can see that the ID is captured as 8, droplet name as Pabli test. Here we can find the IPv version 6 as true. 
okay and here we have got the uh, unique column value as eight over here now here you can see that the important note is given this mysql trigger will check for the updated rows in every one hour so here i want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately but sometimes it may take some time in capturing the data as the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response so please don't worry about that and wait for 15 20 minutes patiently the data will surely arrive okay now we want that using these details a droplet should get created so just scroll down come to this action step and choose the application name over here as digital ocean select the action event as create droplet click on connect click on add new connection and click on connect with digital ocean now it is asking authorize public connect so i'm just going to click on authorize application to give away the access over here authorization successful okay now the digital ocean account is connected to public connect just because i was already logged into my digital ocean account so make sure before creating a connection you're logged into your digital ocean account now here it is asking for the droplet name so we have already got the droplet name from the trigger response so we will be mapping this data now okay for mapping simply click it over here come to mysql and map the droplet name okay now here it is asking for the region so you can select the region as per your requirement i'm just selecting the region as bangalore region okay now here we have to select the size or the plan the size that you wish to select for this droplet note use get plan price to know the price according to the size so i'll just show you the size as well as the plan by using this action step get plan price for that i'll just click on this plus sign add action step and here i'll choose the application name as digital ocean and here i'll be selecting the action event as get plan price click on connect here i'll be selecting the existing connection just because we have recently created a connection let's click on save and now I'll be clicking on save and send test request. And here we have got the response. Here in the response, we have got the slug. So this will be the slug. This will be the memory. And according to this memory, this will be the disk. And it will be the monthly price. And it will be the hourly rate. So you can select it as per your requirement. Okay. All the details are mentioned over here. So I'm just going to select the slug. This one. Okay. And uh, I'll be selecting the same over here okay so you can select the same slug from the drop down okay and as this action step is not required i'm just deleting this action step i have shown you this action step just for checking the plan price details okay so let's delete this step step deleted successfully okay now uh, let's move to the next step here we have to select the image this image will be base image for your droplet so here I am using the operating system that is Ubuntu. So I am going to select one of the images for my operating system. Now here you can select the backups. Should automated backups be enabled for this droplet? So in my case, I am just keeping it as false. Okay. Now it is asking IPv version 6. Should IPv6 be enabled for this droplet? So if I select it from the drop down from true or false, it will be fixed for all the droplets. Instead of that, I will just enable this mapping button. And here we have got it in the boolean format. And here I'll just remove this data. That is the false value. And here we'll be mapping the value that we have got from our trigger response over here. Okay. This value I'll be mapping. That is true value. Okay. So here let us just enable this mapping button once again. I'll remove this data. And from here let us map the value. Okay. Now, if you want to keep the private networking as true or false, you can just select it as per your requirement. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. And here in the response, we have got a droplet ID. It means a new droplet is created in our digital ocean account. Let's check it. I'm just going to refresh my account. Okay, and here we can see that a droplet has been created named pably test uh, it is getting processed right now so i'm just going to wait for some time okay we can see the processing going on okay so here we can see that the droplet has been created and in this way we have created a successful integration so let's move back to public connect 
and let us save this workflow first data save successfully okay now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not for that i'll just move to my google form once again so that i can fill in the details over here so that my sql database can capture the response okay so let's give the droplet name magnet papcon this time i'm just giving a random name let's select the ipv6 as false this time and now let's click on submit your response has been recorded okay so the form has been filled now i'm going to check my mysql database table i'm just going to refresh it okay and here we have got the detail droplet name as magnet papcon and we have got the id as 9 and here we have got the value as false now let us check whether a droplet is created in our digital ocean account or not okay we are going to just refresh this account now even after refreshing we can't find the droplet created over here just because i have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response so here we have to wait for some time okay and here we can see that after some time we can find the droplet created over here as magnet papcon and here we can see that the processing is going on and within some seconds the droplet will get created okay and now here we can see that it is created now in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine so let's move back to public connect and i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now so first we have created an integration between mysql and public connect so that whenever a new data is added into a mysql database table automatically the details are captured in public connect and then using those details we have created a droplet in our digital ocean account and in this way we have created a successful integration between mysql and digital ocean using public connect thank you everyone so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using public connect in case of any queries you can visit our public forum to check the pricing details of public connect you can visit this particular url also the link of public connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly if you really like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you everyone